Yo, what's up guys, we are playing Throw Chaos. Uh, we're gonna go full random on race and foundations, but we also have like, one specific rule, and this, that is uh, no source of magic. They are banning my favorite foundation that won me all the games. So it's gonna be a test of whether you can choose uh, the second best foundation for your race. There are also a few races that don't have stores of magic, so I guess it's not gonna really apply to them. This removal. But, I must say, there are a few races... Yo. Yo. Give me a second, I'm muted. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, what's up? I was talking about like how there are a few races that are very dependent on source of magic. You know that we are playing without them, right? Uh, yeah, I just heard about it. Alright. So why do we do that? Uh, because every time I play it, I win. So. <laughs> okay. So it's like it's a, like a band system for Zoom. Uh, and yeah, for other people like me, like Victor also likes to play it a lot. Motion doesn't care. He plays randomly. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have Orc. What what are, what are the races that even notice? Uh, I'm a Blood Elf. Oof. Okay. I remember Blood Elf. Yeah, but you remember Blood Elf playing it yourself with the Source of Magic, so... Mm -hmm, that's true. And this I... time you do not have that power. Yep. So what was the one... Okay, we... I cannot go for Source of Magic. What was the one that... Um, was it Victor or Rich that played before? Yeah. Wasn't it, it wasn't Orb of Lightning. What was the other one? Okay, you have only 30 seconds. So I feel like, in my opinion, what, you good, what good foundations you have is Kodos. It's like one of the best ones. Raiders mm -hmm. is a key one because it gives you another level in Endurance Aura. Um, mm -hmm. And others, like, I don't really remember. There is one that you like, the Orb of Lightning. But yeah, I, it's so powerful. I but, don't play yeah. it too often. You gotta choose it in one second, so. The Raider one, uh, just to talk about it, is pretty decent because they get a roar that uh, debuffs enemies around. And the LE is pretty decent. And the debuff is basically a lot of. Attack speed and movement speed. They cast it pretty often, it's pretty good, it's very good for the mid control, so yeah, it's like pretty decent. Kodos yeah, is the meta thinking. though. Kodos mm -hmm. is pretty much the meta if you don't go for source of magic, like Yeah, I know. I I literally every time you play Survival Cast, it feels you like you always go for like tier tier four replacement. It feels like it's the most reliable pick. Unless you go for source of magic, obviously, but yeah, it depends. I mean sort like lightning, orb of lightning is always a consistent pick as well yeah it's a uh, decent because it's always like it's an early game stage uh, bonus damage and like towards the late it kind of buffs itself a lot if you do the upgrades mm -hmm. also i feel like it gives you attack speed for some races uh the orbs but yeah not sure about that uh and yeah why tier 4 units foundations are very good is that uh, because usually they get insane spells uh, most yeah, decapitation, which executes a target, and there was another one that Auras. I don't remember what. Yeah, an aura. Insane There's two auras, auras. Yeah, you have an aura mm -hmm. that debuffs damage by thirty or forty percent. This is like <laughs> literally insane. It's really, it's really insane in my opinion. Yeah, maybe I should have went for Kodos, but I mean, I tr I'm gonna try Raiders. I feel like. No, no, I, I play Raiders myself too. It's uh, not too bad. The main idea is that you get another level in Endurance Aura, and this Endurance Aura is applied to your big ogre. So, it's like a um, hero squad buffer, I guess. Another 5% mm -hmm. attack rate and movement speed. So, uh, what's your uh, what's your bonus? Did you notice? No, I don't play this game as often as you, no. <laughs> uh, Blood Priests. Blood Priest. Okay, so what's uh, read me those abilities? What do they do? What uh, should I be uh, preparing for? Nothing. They just buff me not to lose the game too early, you know. Uh, basically, they have extra stats, four damage, and uh, seventy-five mana. Mm -hmm. But they also have two extra spells. One is anti-air. It's like a lot of damage to air units. So if you like gonna rush me tier three, I'm gonna counter it like with my tier two already, at some degree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the other, but it's obviously like anti-air. I don't like it too much. But the thing what really matters is a healing hand. So it's basically a healing wave. My casters mm -hmm. have a healing wave, 
which is a pretty powerful spell. It's a 50 HP to 3 units without a caster upgrade. With each caster upgrade, it adds uh, 10, so up to 90 because my 4 upgrades. Okay, makes sense. So it seems like motion sense went for the void walkers. Uh, void walkers are actually uncommon pick, but I I support it because it's very good. I very really like, uh, for example, tanks on uh, dwarves as a tier two unit, you know, mm -hmm. because they are ranged, and tier two melee units are usually like your carries. They have siege damage and siege damage. If you if you read how much it does to everything, it does a lot, like. Siege damage in Thrall Chaos is basically your best uh, friend, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, when those units become ranged and they shoot those uh, siege damage hits, you know, from the distance, it's really powerful. Yeah, okay, I see. So, I mean, that's not too bad, yeah. It feels like a pretty good one. I, it's reliable mid game, mid game power can tr just transition well to late game. Yeah, usually, though, people use it uh, to push the barracks. The Void Walkers, but you know, mid control as well, it's not too bad. And they also have like an aura, um, it's an intimidation aura, it has reduced attack rate. Your units and mine right now in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the aura. Yeah, your raiders have a very fun animation, they like clap the ground and howl or something, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to tier 2 to benefit from that. As soon as possible. Okay, so motion tier 2 done. How was your uh, stream, by the way? Uh, I wasn't Which one? The one where you were drunk and you were celebrating 10k. Yeah, I didn't even like drink that much, to be honest. Why? Because I just didn't think too much about it. That was like more, most focused on... On the games again? Yeah, the games, like talking to people and so on. Like that's the thing. Most of the people wanted to, it to be like improvised, which mm -hmm. it was. Do you, people don't did you at least that. Uh, sing? No, we didn't sing, sadly. I wish it, it came out to that eventuality, but it didn't. Yeah, I like your uh, black shirt. That was nice. You enjoyed it? I yes. mean, sometimes you wear like a nice shirt, so... <laughs> I, I, like I was just... Blade as well, I need to match you guys. Yeah, it was a cosplay of Blade, basically. Oh, it was a cosplay? <laughs> I don't wear them like too often, it's just me imitating uh, Blade. Okay, I see. <laughs> I was trying to imitate you at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's a chain reaction which is becoming more and more scuffed, I guess, the Twitch link. <laughs> Fact. Okay, so uh, when you played the uh, Drene, right? Um, do you remember... Was it you who played the Alec Riders? Uh, I, maybe I played it once if I remember correctly. Alright, yeah, because I'm trying to figure out what uh, he's playing right now. And I can't actually tell if his unit is I haven't a seen the fourth one. race, I didn't even see it. Yeah, that's insane. Oh man, those Void Walkers are pretty powerful. He did upgrade on you, the tier 2 barrack. Yep. Yeah, it's good that I didn't upgrade my tier 2 barrack as well, I guess then. Yeah, dude, don't forget, we're smiling at each other, right? <laughs> sure. <Research finished. laughs> no, I, mean, I was pushing... Honest, I, would, I was getting pushed by green, so I had like also no choice but to match it. Yeah, pretty much I was getting pushed. I, I always do too, like you do, 3-2 middle. You seem to be getting a lot of control middle. Jhene yeah. is too. Okay, now I finally see the race. Yeah, that's no why upgrades, the Blood Priest, I feel like, are decent. I don't lose uh, early game and I actually can contest for the middle. As a weak race, such as Blood Elf, early. The healing waves are pretty powerful indeed, just like at least. Keeping yeah, I see Victor alive. does a lot. Like, every time Victor plays, he goes oh. for like mass barricade upgrades or masonry. I thought you were talking about. Do you see? He sent a hero on the middle. Already? Already, oh. yeah. <laughs> kind of insane, isn't it? Uh, as you could, like, yeah, he had zero, 0 upgrades and a hero on the middle. That's his strat. I don't know how reliable that is, though. Uh, it's, okay. a, it's a gamble. Depends on how people react to it and what they actually have on their minds themselves. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, because he has zero, 0 upgrades right now, his units are pretty much garbage. 
but his hero is powerful, so it's kind of balances it. It does balance it out, so his hero might actually stay in the middle for a while. But yeah, there is a tier three by blue. Do you see it? You guys really like to go hard on mid. Like every time I play with you guys, it's like the 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 control of mid. That's the name of the game. Who controls middle faster? Yeah, you know what I. Like, remember when I used to only upgrade the barracks on the sides? Mm -hmm. I learned that if, if the person next to you pushes middle a lot, you, are, you will be forced to upgrade middle eventually, most likely. So, at this point, you know, it's better for you to upgrade early. <laughs> Just because you will do it, you will have to do it eventually anyway. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm just yeah. going for upgrades, I don't know, I'm just gonna go for survivability this game. I figured out what uh, Victor's foundation is. What is it? It's uh, items on the heroes. Ah, okay. That item level 1 is so bad. I don't even know, like, it seems like there is an update for items, which I still don't understand. Yeah, the items basically, in my opinion, have been buffed a lot. I would, I would say maybe even twice as much. They used to be really bad, eh? Yes. They used to be uh, pretty bad, indeed. Mm, if it, it felt like, you know, you would get the same items, like same auras that you already have. <laughs> you would get, like, uh, pretty useless items. The best ones always used to be attack, rate, Because, like, when your heroes have, I don't know, 1k damage, right? Like, uh, attack rate is basically... Is a lot. It's really a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why your endurance aura extra level is uh, so good, in my opinion. Makes but sense. but now, yeah, there are some sets like a warlock set, a tank set. Um, I haven't gone too much into details. I st I haven't like started using this foundation and items, but you know, for those who like the items and can play a decent game with them, I guess. Uh, you know, the update has done a, gr a great work on that, so... And Victor going for it. The Draenei heroes are pretty good, especially Velen. Velen probably has like a lot of healing. I think he has Tranquility. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, also Resurrection. Just a lot of support uh, spells. And his uh, super unit is also pretty amazing. If there will be at any point a uh, 4 hero push, um, yeah, that's gonna be troublesome. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a great profit. I don't think that's as bad. You, the one with the, the melee one is pretty good, eh? That's the one you're, you're referring to? The melee? Do you mean yeah. uh, the tank? Um, yeah, I think it's the tank that's the one that's really good. Literally, it doesn't, never dies. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I would say, in my opinion, he's like a B tier, I guess. But Valen, in my opinion, is like A tier. And Akama, well, Akama is a C tier. Akama is like assassin hero. Uh, he, he makes mm -hmm. illusions and has crits, and that's it. He's like, basically, maybe a little bit better version of uh, Samuro. No, Jubi. Samuro is even better than Jubi. Jubi is the, the shittiest hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juby is a paid actor. We talked about this before. Yep. I saw a few of your videos playing when you, when you showcase me raging on your channel. <laughs> How do you feel about those? I don't know. At, at the beginning, I was like, kind of, it was funny, but then I wonder if like it dirties the reputation a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh man. I mean, I was I was totally neutral. Like I know when not to push you because you know it's bad. I guess. I guess it wasn't too bad, I was just like casually raging, but you know. Well, you have a countermeasure uh, against me when you probably could have... Have you uploaded a video where I was a zombie and you built like a second werewolf in line? Yeah, I uploaded one, do you remember? Yeah, see, so... I guess we're even now. It was pretty bad because like I, I died by in a very silly manner and then mm -hmm. the werewolf leaves, we don't notice it. Obviously, and yeah, like there are only basically three players left. Uh, Cronium dies like a Pepega. I don't know why. How did he even die to you? The bottom level guy by the lake, yeah. 
I was very surprised that that even happened. Dude, that's gonna be a big push towards me, the green. I hope it's he gonna push it because he's gonna oh, of course he will. too long. <laughs> How is he not gonna push that? I'm gonna have to use tier 2, I'm pretty sure, unless I use a hero. Uh, you're gonna farm a lot of gold, and yeah, that's gonna be great for you. Like, I wish actually this push would come in towards me. Because it resets. I don't think he would send another hero. Other heroes he has, like a tank. I don't think tanks are very great on the middle. Except maybe for uh, Dreadlord, if he is... Nah, he's a support hero, so yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The guy already has yeah, sure. uh, three items, by the way. And two of them combined. So I feel like he killed some hero or something. Did you see that? Oh, master. Okay, so some of them combine. I'm not even sure how that works again. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that 2 HP per second is that great. But mana regeneration, maybe not that bad, yeah. Since he is a caster. Uh, summoning a lot of units, which I shouldn't be, but I don't have a choice. On the middle right now? No, middle, uh... Okay. Yeah, because he is not there yet. Oh no, I pulled his army to myself. Nice, thank you. It's gonna uh, give me a little bit more time. No, ideally, yeah, I feel like you could have pressed just expel and you would get uh, 1000 for sure. Probably more. Question is, do I send a hero? Probably. Because he's tier 2, so my hero potential is gonna. You I mean, could, but you risk to over push again. Like, just, uh, I don't know, play it on your own risk, I guess. Hmm, okay, you got uh, mana shield. Now you're gonna start pushing for sure. Yeah, but you know, it's a uh, tier 1 barracks too. Uh oh. Capture a neutral building, hey? Uh, because of a spellbreaker. Extra unit. But this is still tier 1 barrack, you know? Oh, okay, okay. Really wonder if I, uh... I don't think I need to tier 2. Well, okay, there are two strats that you can go for. You either stay tier 1, and I stay tier 1. Or you go to. No, 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 two. I'm not talking about. I'm okay. talking about the push middle. Alright. Wait, yeah, tier 3 on me though. You don't need to go. Oh, actually, I would actually go tier 4 instead of a hero, but you already summoned one, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, you, you think tier 4 would have been better? Better yeah, choice? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Wait, well, on stayed this whole time. Wait, why is he still there? Wait, did you summon hero before he reached your base? Yeah. Why? Because I want to control middle. Yeah, but there is well on low 16 with a uh, tier 3 item, sorcerer. But he's so low, no? Uh, he's oh, wait, HP. what? <laughs> Damn, okay, I, mean, I guess that was a mistake. I thought he was, he was just lower than that, no, my bad. I saw him low before, like, uh, I mean, he was like uh, one quarter HP, and then I guess he regen. What, is that one of his items? Yeah, uh, yes. He has an aura. Like, he's a healer type of a hero, so yeah, he has an aura and a bunch of other nice stuff, like resurrection, tranquility. He's very good at healing. Yeah, like, that's why I said uh, this is Yeah, therefore like... would have been better, but the thing is, doesn't that feed him? No, I thought I thought you would first receive an attack and then you would go tier four. I thought okay, he's already at your not base. Not gonna lie, I thought the hero was in the wave, but I guess I didn't see him. That was my bad. <laughs> oh okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mean I might be in trouble then. Well, Wellen right now is uh, farming my wave <laughs> all the time. Just stays uh, on the right side of the middle. So really low so, 17. I, yeah, let's just check this. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Yeah, he has All got right. a bit of gold from middle. Someone has to catch up. We, ha we have to do something, right? So remember, either you tier 4 on him or send a hero to counter it, like an assassin. But I guess maybe the best decision would have been to tier 4. But considering the current circumstances, maybe like hero wasn't too bad of an idea. Right? You throw so life right now and farming? Oh, you can't see him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's full HP. I'm actually killing well on. <laughs> I'm actually killing Yeah, it's, it's really good for me. We'll see how it plays out, but yeah, it's potentially really good for me. Mm. So motion went tier three on me. Okay. Yep, killed Velen just because he went on my lane and stayed there alone. No choice to match him, here we go. I'm kind of afraid though, <clears throat> the cooldown for Velen might be already reset. So... Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, it's been reset. And when he summons the believe. hero, he will get another item. So that's gonna be like a lot of items. He's tier 4 middle, wow, that's insane. I don't understand how, like, are you like okay? I mean, they're probably not pushing again like, against them. Uh, we are too. Yeah, we are just two barracks on each other. I'm late game race. I just don't know. Trying to get my passives to escalate and be decent. Yeah, I feel like you, everyone's like upgrading tiers instead of actually uh, pushing everyone. So maybe i don't know maybe my my race isn't too much late game because i get it i got the uh raider right no you're actually playing a very good late game race be only because you have eight upgrades on masonry eight mm, so i'm gonna get like an absurd amount of gold there eh? yeah and you have uh, a lot of good uh tower upgrades as well yeah, you don't have gold for early Yo, that hero is gonna be OP in late game. <laughs> oh my god. Have you upgraded your regeneration on units? What do you uh... Yeah, have the bonus regeneration. Yeah. Yeah, that and endurance aura is basically all you need. And yeah, maybe one upgrade them. on net and poison and yeah. too, maybe. And poison, yeah, later. Well, what's gonna happen? I don't think me nor motion have tier 4. So, you're gonna get pushed from the middle. Just make a tier 4 barrack on middle when it's about to come, I guess. Don't do it yet. Otherwise, you're gonna stay on the middle for longer. Like, when attack is about to happen, maybe it's the best timing for you to upgrade, you know. Mm -hmm. Tier 4 barrack. And then, well, I'm gonna be reset for some time being. Yeah, there's no. I mean, I, I'm kind of forced to tier four, right? Yeah, but not right now. I don't think you can save your thrall. He's just uh, much stronger. His hero. His hero has tier three item, tier two item, and tier one item, and it's a stronger hero than yours. And he has more levels, and his tier four was earlier, and 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 so yeah. Just... Yeah, and so many yeah. Yeah. Ah, just a bad. Uh, come on. Well, I'm kind of forced to because you're keep pushing me. Yeah, but now I will match it. It's it's only tier two. I just want to start getting a few neutrals, you know. Nothing, uh, nothing mean about it. All right. Victor did tier three on me as well at the same time, actually. Uh, did he? Wow. Timing but, sometimes. Yeah, good timing. Good timing. Research. Yeah, I have already 6-6 six, six upgrades uh, and mostly everything that I wanted to get, so it's not a problem. Yeah, it's a good start for you, for sure. Yep. This demon race is so strong. I played it uh, on stream at some point. 
for that uh, stream I was the 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 stream the drunk stream or whatever. Yeah. And it, it felt like you have so much control over everything. Uh yeah, Drenai and uh, Drenai and Legion are pretty powerful because their upgrades benefit to all units except tier four. So they just make one upgrade and they upgrade everything. They are very mm. very strong. Early and mid game especially. Damn, can I actually kill your hero? <laughs> can I get the last hit? That would be nice. You have no. tier 3. Yeah, because if he kills your hero with his hero, he will get another item. Oh, that's how he gets items? Yeah, so every time he summons a hero, he gets an item. Um, and every 4 levels he gets an item. And every time he kills a hero, he gets an item. Okay, I see. But obviously, yeah, tier 1 items, so... Yeah, he did but last he hit combined. you. He did last hit you. No. He has a sorcerer, look at the level 4 tier item. Tier 4 item, yeah. What, is that last tier? Uh, probably, yeah. I don't think there are items above tier 4, so... It's already pretty strong, in my opinion. I can't, I can't see his hero yet. Okay, now I see it. It gives 10% attack rate is the biggest one, yeah. And 8 mana intelligence. Mana per second. Look yeah. mana regeneration. He's basically always going to be casting abilities. Yep. That's a disgusting wave middle. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have issues versus uh, Victor, and that wave is gonna be massive whenever it hits my base. No, I mean, let's put. Did you use your mana a lot right now? No, I still have quite a bit. Yeah, that's not a big problem. Uh, the biggest, like, the scariest thing is that he doesn't push you right now immediately. He's not pushing fast to arrive at your base right now, you know? It's very slow. I think he might even get stuck again in my wave and get killed again. You... Yeah, well, all of us are upgraded, right? So. Did you upgrade your middle to tier four? Uh, I'm. A, I was about to, but I feel you like should I should not. To yeah, go. you should because like you will delay and he will stay in the middle, even for longer. Yeah, that's good. Then. Good way of thinking, I guess. Hmm. Oh, now he's gonna push. At least like it says, it, it feels like half his wave pushes towards me, so that's good. Yeah, your tier 2 barrack was actually good because your foundation is raiders. So your tier 1 is completely bad, but tier 2 is like a big uh, buff. Alright, he's getting stuck on my wave again. Oh my god, why does it repeat itself? And he's still like, oh my god. I mean, it's, it all pretty much relies to you at this point. 8,000 gold. Kick. Oh, Come wait! On, why does motion upgrade tier 4 on me? Um, oh. Legion is this kind of a race that it's very good for these kind of things because he has a lot of units benefiting from the same upgrades. So you make fast 6 upgrades and then you just mess barracks. Or you rush Kazakh because you are dominating early game. But yeah, I guess it's just motion doing motion things, I don't know. He wanted to go mid, but then he saw Victor, I guess, and gave up. Uh, just bunk her up, go for uh, 8 mercenary upgrades, you know, just play safe. Guess I don't have a choice to summon a hero, that's... Uh, maybe I don't, we'll see. I just have to spend a lot of gold summoning stuff. You can't match his barrack as of right now. Kind of want to match motion, not middle, because middle is just yeah, half yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely uh, match motion. Middle is not gonna come to you anytime soon. It feels like it's it's stuck again. Oh, that's I'm so happy. <laughs> that's really good for me.
Victor summoned a uh, second hero against me right now. Wait, where is Whalen? Is Whalen coming to you finally? I don't see it. Because I don't see it on me though. But maybe he's fighting Legion. Oh yeah, it's fighting left. I just see it now. Okay. Man, this thing is like full HP again. And he's uh, getting even more items. Maybe this is the new meta. Uh, nah, I feel like he just got very lucky. He got very lucky that his hero went to my side, got stuck again, you know. Normally he would just uh, push through eventually. He would kill his hero and I would reset everything, but... Kind of went a uh, very messed up way. Hmm. Yeah, the only thing I feel like I'm doing wrong is I'm summoning so many heroes, or so many units. How many units did you summon? Uh, 12. Okay, I have double. Yeah, I'm very unhappy about 12 because it was mostly because of you, your raiders. Uh, I had to really match the bottom first, tier 3. It was way scarier, so... Hmm... Maybe I could try to use tier 2 with both waves, hopefully that's gonna be an ideal case scenario. Is Wellen coming, or the left side? Both sides are. <laughs> Ideally also Wellen would come. <laughs> Triple side. Oh man, I am actually killing uh, his tank. Tier 3 barrack versus tier 3 barrack. And plus his hero and I'm still killing him at his base. I ne negated maximum amount of damage, I'm happy about that. <laughs> he, used, he used his axe and that spell just not to lose his hero. That's... That's a kick. Where? On your side of the map? Yeah. He made a tier 3 barrack. I received that push, I made my tier 3 barrack, I pushed him a lot. And he summoned a hero, but the hero started to die, <laughs> you know. Mm. Uh, that's pretty fun. Dude, even after his axe and that spell, he is still dying. <laughs> that's a lot of matter wasted. 175 plus what? Plus 50? Uh, 150, yeah, so 225 mana. That's quite a bit. He summoned a second hero. <laughs> Towards you? Yeah, two heroes. Just to hold my wave. This is ridiculous. This guy is a total madman. Probably now he should be able to hold me. There's no way I hold myself. So desperate about your heroes, huh? Wait. No, it wasn't the real one, yeah. He treated my fingers up. Dude, I'm still kidding him. <laughs> Tier 3 barrack, double base defense, uh, two Might heroes, be. and I'm still pushing him. Uh, Blatos, I guess. OP, OP. I have no units. Took a lot of damage on this. Oh, that sucks. Mmm. I heard Kazakh. I wonder where did he go? Yeah, he's on my side, eh? Motion has an interesting game plan. I'm really wondering what he's doing on other sides of the. Like uh, against Victor and against. Like tier 4 and the special unit towards me? That seems kind of excessive. Ah, uh, that's pretty scary, yeah. If you are not tier 3 yet, I highly recommend you to just uh, bunker up. <laughs> Masonry plus range upgrade, something, something. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna have to summon special unit too.
Yeah, his Valen is literally stuck in the middle. Level 27. He has been there entire game, feels like. But yeah, I, okay, I killed both of his heroes he sent to me. Near his base. With equal agris on barracks, that's just... Buffable. Uh, also poison, I feel like your poison applies to super units. But it I'm, does. But I'm not exactly... It does? Uh, it says affects organic units only. Yes, it does then, it does. So that's also your uh, super union killer, basically. Level 28, he's max level at 35 minutes. That's, uh, we should probably be concerned about that, right? Um, yeah, but I can't really do much. I feel like none of us can. From the middle side, from the side of his base, r the right side, I made a tier for barrack, and he matched it right now, so. Hey, let's go. Oh, be, be wary of uh, Smite, but I don't know. Oh, he just used it, okay. I see. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, he didn't. Okay, okay, I thought he did for a second. Alright, alright, he didn't kill. Dude, this is a very rough start for me. Man, you're pushing me so much. Damn. I don't know how I'm gonna defend against this, but yeah, I mean, Kazak. I'm gonna sell this special Kazakh. unit towards this time. Kazak. Kazak? Yeah, it's Kazak. Pretty sure, but I know. Depends how you pronounce the A. <laughs> I don't know. It's a work of lore, dude. <laughs> like, do you even ah, know? Ah, okay. It? Yeah, exactly. You sounded just like a Russian guy, would. Ness says it's a, it's a Kazakh. Maybe Kazakh even, but yeah, not Kazakh. <laughs> I'm getting um, the ultimate weapon, so I'm gonna see. Give me a second. What is happening to your base? Hey, tier 3 Barak? Did he just tier 3 Barak me? But why? What? Why did he? Why? Why would he do that? All right, I guess we match it. Five hundred mana. Motion and Victor tier one barracks. All right, that does explain a lot. <laughs> that does explain a lot. Their tier one on each side. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. The, it, there's no way there was another way because seriously there there's no way he had enough gold to tier four and send a special unit towards my side that's absurd i mean we're still trying to push each other they're tier one we should have done that didn't know this was a team game True. oh no way is it on me zoom no i decided to spice up the game a little bit i was thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> why? But why? But why did you do that? I mean, I was... I had it for a while and I was like... I'm gonna push him to use defensive ultimate weapon and then... 
Why did what? Why did he leave? I don't know. He was winning the game, no? Yeah, I mean he lost a barrack. I don't know why he didn't defend it though, but whatever. They will be cleansed by fire. Kind of weird game. Look at this. Green. 42,000 gold and a half. Wellen stays on the middle the whole game. Gold from middle. 13,000. Like, people are memeing actually, you know? What the fuck is going on? I'm done with the yeah, like I was. Kek. Are you serious? You literally <laughs> saw what happened to Victor. Why? I was about to research, but I guess, yeah, fuck that. I oh, am. Yeah. I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know. Do I want to record it for uh, for YouTube or not? Continue, continue this game. <laughs> No desire to play shit game like that, trying to play for fun and you just rush ultimate weapon. That was a pretty much meta game from you, what do you mean? For fun. Having well on the whole game, I mean like of course I gotta do something about it, just like Wim said. What kind of fun is losing to you and not doing anything about that is? Ultimate weapons are no fun. Meta game, I went for shit foundation. You literally had 4000 gold above anyone. What are you talking about, dude? I mean, like. What? Oh, finally he's out. Oh my god, this shit hero. I can upgrade on mid. Tier for barrack. That was painful. Like, I've never seen anyone occupy middle for so long. And you have tier 1 barrack on each other with uh, motion. Like, you are winning the game if I don't do that. So, what do, you, what do you propose? I play for fun and I lose? I play for your fun and I lose, right? This is my fun. I spent 4k on heroes only. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree on with that. You... I don't know if you really want it though. I mean like... Were you memeing completely? Or you actually were trying to farm your heroes there? Some items and levels? I actually don't know. At this point... At this... At this rate. Well, I'm telling you, I mean, if I didn't do that, I feel like my chances of winning this game would be low as fuck. Because soon you would start farming levels and items on what? Your super unit, you know? It's all funny to kill your Akama and tank hero trying to get items and levels, but when you are trying to do it on your fucking uh, army of the light, adult, you know, it's... I don't think it's that fun anymore. <laughs> the items are shit. Attack rate ones are, I like the most. 10% attack rate is pretty decent on a good hero with good damage. I don't know about the mana though, what people said. I don't feel like they ever lose mana. You always have mana most of the time. Wait, mo motion is wait, motion is so creepy. What the fuck? Is my cow? You fine, mate? I'm fine. I got like 40, 24 damage and ten AS from that item. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But ten AS is already a uh, hero div, you know, in fights. Like it's a big uh, hero div. I look at this hero, 5 AS 
One point five HP. Eh, you know, can be a factor of two heroes uh, like fighting and you winning. It's not a big thing. I agree, but you know, dude, like I, I, I don't, I don't, I still, I still say it. Like I don't think that you having middle for entire game, forget about foundation. You just get way more gold than any of us. Look at this. I'm actually scared of this shit. Look, look at this, dude. Gold from the middle. Like it's a nine k gold difference. Smite doesn't work on heroes. What do you mean? I think you can use it on anything now. Like any organic unit. I was pretty sure about that. I didn't get a blood rage. Oh my god. That is so bad. Yeah, I had to get the blood rage. Big yikes. Big yikes by me. But yeah, whatever. Motion loss his fortress. Literally doesn't work. What kind of hero did you want to smite? His Velen? Did you want to smite his Velen or something? And yeah, what did you go for? The second best foundation in game? Okay, dude, the rule was to play with our source of magic. It didn't recommend you to play for fun, okay? Okay, now you're gonna remove me the second best foundation in game and so on and so on and so on. Like, come on, dude. People say that phoenixes are better as well. It's just my opinion that this thing is better than phoenixes. But I feel like most of the blood of players, as far as I have heard, just randoms in pubs and other players say it's uh, the phoenixes. So like second or third, and I, 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 even even source of magic, you know, for blood elves. Is not very clear. For orcs, for sure. For uh, for green, 100%. For legion, not so sure. For blood elf, not so sure. I would say I played at top three. Top three would be like by 99% of the people, they would say this is the best foundation, like top three foundation. Research finished. All right. Yeah. So I don't know. Do I keep on playing against the uh, AI now? So many heroes on me though. Check the marketplace from my side on Victor. Uh, what, what about it? It gives you one armor and a bit uh, like percentage of the damage, but not so much. I think it gives like 3% damage and 1 armor. But your bonus to attack is mostly from infusion aura of the Kazakh. Your Kazakh is emitting infusion aura. Oh, uh, you mean Victor didn't go for it? Yeah, but it's like, it's a shitty bonus anyway. It's pretty shitty bonus. Just like items are. Like, w so what? You are still winning the game with it. You are still winning the game with uh, that foundation. Like fun would be to allow you to do that, or I don't know, dude. Come on. Uh, spell steal. I actually never looked at it, but like a spell steal cooldown is 20 seconds, and with every upgrade it gets further and further. I mean, lower and lower. So maybe it's not too bad to upgrade the spell breakers if you have nothing better to do. I'm st Am I still in Bloodlust? Come on guys, still Bloodlust on range units. Man, there is one Spellbreaker. Why are you not casting anything though? Wait, maybe because they are not casting Bloodlust? Okay, I gotta watch this. Okay, there is a clearly a Shaman and he should cast at least one Bloodlust. Now guys, uh, steal it. He stole it on himself! <laughs> oh yeah, but the Draenei. The Draenei has uh, two buffs, I think. Or something. So it's not that bad. 
Uh, everyone left and they're literally crippled against me. It's just a matter of time until I win, so GG. Good game.